Welcome to Shape by Faith, a special series led by health and fitness expert Teresa Rowe. Get ready for an entertaining and spirit-led adventure while learning ways you can become fit in your body, mind, and spirit. Now here's Teresa. This next exercise will definitely challenge our balance. Go ahead and step front with one leg, cross that arm, and then step it back. You see what I mean? All right, so step down, lunge, and then row that arm back. You can also go deeper if you want it to, or you can stay up here and modify it, all right? So inhale as we lower, stay in the heel, and then push back out of the heel. Your word is a lamp for my feet and a light for my path. Isn't that so true? The word of God inspires us. The word of God motivates us. And the word of God gives us direction, wisdom and insight. Okay, one more. All right, let's do that on the opposite leg. Let's step front, let's modify the first one and then bring it back. Let's practice that again. So front lunge, let's go a little deeper, cross over if you want, you don't have to. Test me, O oh Lord, and try me. Examine my heart and my mind. I don't like tests, do you? <laughs> but I'm telling you what, as you ask God to test you, He will, and it's so good for us, it really is. It matures us up in his spirit, right? It helps us. I like his tests better than written tests, I can tell you that. And again, keep it moving. Front lunge and single row. All right, let's do that two more times. You're doing so good. One more. All right, this next set, make sure you have some space behind you. What we're gonna do is bring the arms in front, palms facing you. And we're gonna step one leg back as we rotate the arms up and then around. Go ahead and alternate your legs. Bring the arms up and then bring them around as you step back. Again, it's a challenge for the balance, but you can do this. If God is for us, who can be against us, right? If God is for us, we have everything that we need. All right, reach up there. You're doing great. We're working the shoulders, that lower body and our core. Reach, bring them around. Feel those muscles in the arms and through your core. All right, let's do that two more times. And one more. Very nice. Okay, on this next one, give yourself some space to the side. You're gonna squat and then you're gonna walk it in front raise. Squat and front raise. Now let's go the opposite direction. Squat and front raise, very nice. You can do this, you're doing this right. The Lord is so close to the brokenhearted and he saves those who are crushed in spirit, right? There's many times in my life where the Lord has saved me, where I have been crushed in my spirit, so sad and downcast. And then God lifts me up. All right, keep moving. This one's so good to walk laterally for our balance and our stability. Still working on these shoulders here. And one more. All right, let's just use one weight for the next exercise. So what we're gonna do again, give yourself some space. It's a two-step, just start that, just side to side. We're gonna pass the weight back and forth. So good for the brain. It's a great pattern for the brain. Great for the feet and the ankles. We know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love Him and who have been called according to His purpose. You know, God calls each one of us Here's the thing, we have to say yes. See, we have a choice. God calls those according to his purpose. Those who say, yes, Lord, yes, Father, I'll do that. And then sometimes we say no, 
Let's just be honest. So let's just say, Lord, help us to be obedient to you, right? Help us, Father. One more. All right, now go ahead and grab both weights. You're going to bring the legs out really wide. Bring your toes out and stay back in the heels. You're going to go down and come right back up, straight down, straight up. Bring the arms in front, palms facing. Go down, come up and fly. Blessed are the pure in heart, right? Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. So that's why we say, Lord, test our hearts. Lord, purify our hearts. We want to see you. All right, we're working through the chest, still through the shoulders, and that lower body and core. And again, this position works on our balance and stabilization, keeping those shoulders down. Lord, look at our hearts and show us those things, only those things you want to show us. One more. All right, great. Now this next one, we're gonna maintain this position. You're gonna pulse down for three, so go down. One, two, three, and up. Let's do that again. Pulse one, two, three. This time, bring the weights over the shoulders. Pulse down, two, three, and lift them up. Very nice. Do not conform, just don't do it, any longer to the pattern of the world. But the Lord says to be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So we ask God to help us renew our mindset every single day. How are you doing with this one? Pulse down and then press up. Working those shoulders and those legs. All right, let's do that one more time. Pulse down, two, three, and up. Carefully bring those legs in. Great job. Coming up next, more inspiration on Shape by Faith. I love this next set of exercises. Go ahead and extend the leg front and a hammer curl. Go out with those arms laterally and then use those arms to kick back. Now the entire time you're bringing that leg to the front as you're learning this pattern. Again, these exercises are so beneficial for the body and the brain and the spirit. Hammer curl and then lateral and then kick back. Blessed are they whose ways are blameless and who walk according to the law of the Lord. Hammer curl, you still doing this with me, lateral and kick back one more time. Let's bring those arms out and kick them back. Very nice, let's go ahead and switch legs. Exact same exercise with your arms, opposite leg. Lift that leg, hammer curl, and then bring the arms out, and then tricep kick back. Keep going with that. So biceps, and then shoulders, and then triceps. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is so much freedom. Don't you agree? Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom, right? It's like a burden has been lifted off your shoulders as you realize that Christ is with you. All right, hammer curl, keep going, lateral, and kick back. All right, feel the challenge in this for the brain and the body and that balance challenge, working biceps and shoulders and then triceps. One more time, keep moving that leg. Last one. This next exercise is a bent fly. I'm gonna angle just a little bit for you to see it better. What we're gonna do is hinge through the hips, sit back in your glutes, bring the arms down. We're gonna bring both arms out, and then we're gonna do a single fly, one arm at a time, and then double. So here's that pattern, double, and we're going single and single. Go back to double. All right, keep that core tight, pull in your belly, keep your back nice and straight. Make sure those knees are bent, single fly. Now go back to double. Do not merely just listen to the word of the Lord. You know, God says to do it, to make it active. Do what it says, right?
All right, go ahead, double fly. How you doing? And single, and then one more. Go back to double, and then stand up. Good. This next set is a basic squat. Let's practice the squat together. Sit down and sit back in those hips and glutes. Now we're gonna add the arms. Bring the arms to the front, palms facing you. Sit down as you come up, bring them up and around, and then bring them back to the front. For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you, right? And not to harm you. Plans to give you hope in the future. Oh, that's great news. Keep going, sit down and sit back. Exhale up. Our breathing is so important. You wanna make sure that the mouth is open and you keep breathing on purpose. So be real mindful of your breath and the way your body's feeling. Feel that press for the shoulders. Feel that nice rotation as you come around. Last one. Good, okay. Go ahead and place the weights down. Now in all of my senior strength training classes, I always, always have them practice what they can do with the plank. If the plank is not good for you where you go down, I want you to stay up and then just do a side lean with your weights, okay? But if you're willing, let's go. All right, so go down to the floor. Here's what we're gonna do. Place the hands under the shoulders, bring those knees back, bring the bottom down. It's real important that we keep the bottom down, okay? Pull the bellies in. Now, to progress, go ahead, extend those legs. Hold right here, you can do this. Let the peace of Christ Rule in your hearts. Father, we're so thankful for your peace. We're thankful, Father, that you have given us freedom. Father, that you bestow your grace and your blessings upon us. Father, thank you for always, always loving us. Thank you, Father, for choosing us first. Thank you, Father, for this physical strength that you give us daily, Father, as we look to you for our strength. All right, check your alignment, check your posture, you're doing great. If you need to rest, I totally understand. Just come out of it and rest, okay? But if you can hold on with me, I need you to hold on right here. We can do this. Let's encourage one another with the word of the Lord. Let's say, I can do all things through Christ as he gives me strength, right? Father, I'm praying for my beautiful ladies out there that are watching this program. And I thank you, Father, that we're in alignment with you together. We're so grateful, Father, for your Holy Spirit and your presence through these classes. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. All right. Come on out of it and rest. Thank you so much for allowing me in your home today. I hope you're motivated to continue preparing yourself to be the best that you can be. As we continue exercising and praising God together, He will bless our bodies and hearts for His purposes. It is God who made us, right? And He breathed His Holy Spirit in us so that we can encourage others to live for Him. Until next time, friends, may the Lord bless you and keep you safe, healthy, and strong in your spirit, mind, and body. Bye. Hi, I'm Teresa Rowe, and I believe that shopping is a ministry. The Shape by Faith shop offers many unique products and apparel that will be sure to make a statement that you are a child of God. These shirts and workout tanks are comfy, trendy, and offer a high level of modesty. Most important, the clothing is a great way to start a conversation with people you meet. Our most popular apparel is Warrior in Training, Born for a Time Such as This, Prayer, Coffee, Workout, Love One Another, and Fear Not. But you can never go wrong with our classic Shape by Faith shirts tanks and lightweight pullovers. Shop shapedbyfaith.com for this and many other faith-based products. The website also offers encouraging columns, weight loss testimonials, 
blogs, radio, and television shows, and Shape by Faith Breaks. That's shapedbyfaith.com.